Hey guys. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Life couldn't get better. This gonna be the best day ever. Hi, I'm Daniel. <laughs> I'm Sarah. What's up? Welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, hello. How are you? <laughs> so we're gonna do a video about us, about our family, and um, uh, let's let's get into it. So we asked people on our, uh, well, we posted something on our Instagram asking if people want to message us, and um, well, it wasn't a lot. It's not a lot. We have a lot of friends and family that know us, know who we are. But they don't want to get to really know us. <laughs> Anywho, back to the questions. How we first met, it was a popular one. I, uh, I guess... Tinder. <laughs> what do you want to do? <laughs> yeah, it was Tinder. You know. You didn't, want, you didn't want to announce that to people. So we met on Tinder. Mm -hmm. um, we went to the same high school, though. She was a freshman and I was a senior. I knew who he was. He didn't know who I was. I didn't know who she was at all. He didn't believe that I knew who he was. No. So we went, we talked for like a week or so, just like texting, and then we finally went on a date. And um, just, since then, the rest is history. In love. He told me to shush on our first date. Oh, yeah. Because <laughs> I have a loud laugh. Anybody that knows me knows my laugh is very loud. And he, we were in the middle of Red Robin eating our dinner, and he literally was like, shh. And I was like, well, and then you, you didn't know. Well, you didn't even buddy. react. You didn't even react. <laughs> yeah, so that's how we first met. Good old Tinder. So anybody's looking for love, Tinder. I mean, don't get desperate. But it's where to go? It's not where to go, Daniel. Anyways. <laughs> so uh, the next question is uh, how I proposed, and um, well, it was uh, it's a place in San Diego. It's like a cliffside. And you can see the ocean, and I basically, you know, I said my GoPro, like, we're going to take a picture, and I took a video and proposed to her. Are you serious right now? Of course, what do you mean, yes? Oh, my gosh. This is insane. She's insane. Yeah. Can you hear me say, are you serious? And then um, it was when we got married. Uh, it was probably like a, a year after I proposed. Yeah, a little after a year. year. And got married in uh, Chino Hills. Hills. Mm -hmm. It was nice. I liked it. Yeah. yeah. No, it was fun. We had a lot of people out yeah. Family and friends that showed up. Um, it wasn't too big. It wasn't like, holy crap, this is huge. But it wasn't super small. No, it wasn't. And then our honeymoon, we went to Maui. Oh, yeah, Maui, that Hawaii. Fun. That, that was, was super fun. a lot of fun. We want to go back. Um, yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> so the next one is uh, how she told me she was pregnant. I... This one's kind of funny. Really. <laughs> so I get home from work and she's like, I missed you. And I'm like, okay. So, you know, I, you know, I, I hug her and I'm like cuddling her. And then she's like, get off of me. And I'm like, Okay, like, what are you, okay, what do you want? And then she starts, like, crying. And so it's I just... Literally every emotion. Yeah, so I just told her, I like said, um, minutes. have you, have you checked if you're pregnant? And she's like, no. And so she did. And then this is how she basically told me she was pregnant. She yeah. just... Came back into the room and went, oh, crap. And I'm like, are you pregnant? <laughs> <laughs> and she's like, yes, I am. <laughs> Yeah, so that was an emotional roller coaster. That that was a, that was a crazy day. We didn't sleep like the rest of the night. No, we were up till like six a.m. Yeah, because we went to the store to get like an actual pregnancy test to double check. And I mean, not that we didn't take an actual pregnancy test the first time, but it was a cheaper one for sure. Yeah, so we got an expensive one with the digital screen on it to confirm. And then, yeah, we stayed up until, like, 5 or 6 a.m., and then we were exhausted the next day. I think we were just, like, mostly in shock, like, 
Yeah, like if you those. go on our Instagram, we have videos of um, us telling our family. So that was pretty interesting. His yeah. mom was pretty good. Pretty good reaction. Anywho, next question is... Oh, uh, <laughs> his reaction. Well, our reaction when we found out we were having twins. Oh, man. Um, he nervous laughed. If yeah. you don't know what a nervous laugh is, it's like... <laughs> <laughs> she cried the whole time. Yeah. She I, asked the doctor. You would have thought that I was like... I don't even know. You would have thought that I... Like, somebody had just told me that somebody in my family had died. Yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was really bad. I think I asked the doctor all of, like, 15 to 20 times if she was sure and if she was serious. And I think she, she finally got annoyed of me. And, and just walked, walked, down, walked down the room. <laughs> she was like, yes, and then, like, walked out... We're like, okay. Yeah. So that was I think everybody in the family was surprised. Yeah, because there's no twins anywhere. No. Anywhere at all. Um, next one is, um, are we going to have more kids? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Probably like twin boys again. No. Probably. Literally most everything like, he talks likely. about goes into fruition. Everything happens. That it's it's going to happen again. When I first got pregnant, he was like, um, I, cause I felt like I was farther along than I should have been. Like I felt bigger. I felt like my symptoms were more, it just felt weird. And so I was thinking, huh, maybe I'm farther along than we initially thought. Well, then when we went in, we found out we were having twins and he had said initially, Oh, if you're having twins, that'd be hilarious. Well, then I had twins. <laughs> so now I tell him to keep his mouth shut because I don't want another set of twins, but we do want a boy at least. You know, triplets would be fine too. Mm -hmm. Somebody uh, <laughs> come get him. Whose man's is this? <laughs> uh, next question is, why we moved to California and uh, do we like it better? Than, why we moved to Texas and is it better than California? Do we like it better than California? Yes. Um, yes, we like it better than California. I think the only thing that would drive us away from Texas is the heat. Yeah. It's horrific. Horrific yeah, it's heat and humidity. Um, we moved to Texas because we found out we were having twins, and I think we both wanted to get out of California for a yeah. while. We both grew up there, and, and just, California is too way too expensive right too now. Expensive, like, there's too no crowded. way. Too crowded. People are rude. Y'all are rude. No, not everybody, but there is a lot of people that are rude. Um, and I just wanted like small town, open space. We haven't had that yet. We've kind of actually been close to Dallas pretty much everywhere we've lived at this point. But, but there's so much open space out here. So much open space. It's, you could even if you ended up in like a track home, you would still have like f fields to run. Yeah, <laughs> fields. Yeah. But yeah, like fields to roam in and stuff. There's definitely still land out there. I don't think, and we don't have. We're not near a beach at all. But yeah, that does suck. We have a couple there's no lakes, mountains out here. No mountains. It's not even any hills. Like we were hiking, people, when we felt like yeah. it. Yeah. Um, <laughs> But we don't even have the option out here. No. But we, yeah, but we do like it better than California, though. Yes, I think we so. do. And our family, um, his parents have moved out here already, and my parents are in the process of moving. So it's kind of, I mean, I do have a sister out there still, and he has a sister out there as well, um, and some nieces and nephews, but we're okay with going to visit. Yeah. We are okay with that. Mo. Well, yeah. That's you. Number seven. My bow <clears throat> business. If y'all follow me on Instagram, seriously strong. What's yours? Oh, Daniel Armstrong 13. D A N. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> um, if you follow me there, I did announce <clears throat> that I opened a bow business through Etsy. It was called uh, Down South Dixie and Company. What well, was called? It is called. I have put it on hold thus far. I love making bows. It was a lot of fun to do while I was on my downtime before the girls came. Um, bows can be fairly expensive. Um, so if you try to buy them from like, you know, a store or another site. Um, so it was kind of in the process of just like making my own. And it actually became a nice hobby that I liked. Um, and then the girls came along and I didn't have any time to do anything. And I still don't have any time to do anything because I also work a full-time job. Um, I barely have time to eat right if I don't stuff my face after they go to bed. <laughs> uh, <laughs> it's the only time we have stuff to do. <laughs> right. Um, 
So I am trying. I'm trying to get the motivation to get back into it. I still have my sewing machine. I actually have some leftover fabric um, so that I can get some bows back up and get my mama friends some bows for a good price and a good cause, which are my twins. Um, but yeah, it's not gone, but it's not up. <laughs> But I will let you guys know when it's back up and when there's some new patterns in there because there are a lot of fun patterns to work with. Um, so, yeah. Next. This is what we like to do in our spare time. Um, sleep. Mm -hmm. Lots of sleep. A good one. Yeah. Catching Especially, up on our shows. Yeah, on our shows. That our children don't let us watch because they like word party. And little baby bum. Little baby bum, yeah. Um, oh. I enjoy makeup. I do makeup. I spend a lot of money on makeup. Yes. He will attest to that. Yeah. Um, I just, I just like to basically relax. So I work night shift. So I, when I have time, I relax. Either watch TV, play some Xbox, but play uh, video games. Yeah. Yeah, but if I do like to. If I get time to go out, I'll go shooting. If one, if I can, I haven't been in a long time. But, yeah. yeah, maybe we'll add some videos on our. Yeah, I want to start doing, doing some more videos. Be motivation to do more of our spare time stuff and get yeah. it on camera. The girls are asleep, by the way. Yeah. We didn't get rid of them. And that's why you don't hear them. Right. Yeah, it's real quiet in the Armstrong house currently. Um, but yes, they are asleep. They are crazy babies. Um, we they will be on here soon. Uh, for those of you who don't know, we have Hannah and Leah. Hannah's a crazy little sucker. Leah's just quiet and... Quiet, little cuddle bug. Um, Sleeps the whole night. Yeah. Leah just kind of watches what her sister does. Uh, Hannah's new thing is, hi! Yeah, hi! Yeah, hi! hi. <laughs> She's funny. But they'll be on here soon. So don't <clears throat> you worry. And Daniel always posts videos. That's another thing you like to do is post yeah, videos. Yeah, post videos. So. Put it on my Instagram and then... Mm -hmm. so. so we will put our names here and here. <laughs> Follow us. We're also on Facebook and Snapchat, and I'm on Twitter. Um, and we'll put our links and our names in the description below. Yeah. Find us. Follow us. Love us. <laughs> Bye. Bye. See you next time. <laughs> <laughs> He just gulped. <laughs> I don't know how to start this. Why is it so awkward? <laughs> I'm just really nervous. Okay. Hello. Hello. Hey, everybody. <laughs> You're so awkward. <laughs> You're so awkward.